first started skateboarding in Milton Keynes, because basically I used to come here and you'd see people skating about a bit, but then from then on I just was coming to here as often as I could to skate, so that's when I really got involved in Milton Keynes. So when we first came here, the main place we skate was the train station over there, and around the bus station here, and then the beige we found before I knew, but I'd, when people first sent me to the beige, you know, like there's this building, the beige, I'd already found it and been in it, but I hadn't thought what all the things, what you could do there. I don't know, every time I, the most stuff for me with Milton Keynes skateboarding was that, I mean, every time I came here and skated from that, that uh, the first time of whatever level of how, like, basic I was at skating or however good I got, like, it was always, like, a great day adventure, even up until now. So every time was, like, good in a different way. So then I'd come to Milton Keynes, so I could graffiti or every underpass to the point, and then we'd go to the point cinema. Hi, my name's James Dixon. I'm going to Palmfield College doing two years art and design. And I like to paint, skate, tag on the walls, I tell my mum that. How I got into art college um, and art school and everything, when my only A for art, GCSE, yeah, I got that A, and then I had the careers advice, it's really good, because she said I should go for B-Tech, and not A-Levels, when I was 16, I got into Barnfield, B-Tech, National Home Journal and Art and Design. For my painting in the summer, I did a painting of Frankie Hill, in, like skateboarding, so I was painting, skateboarding, and I started trying to keep away from the graffiti because they're like that can get you in trouble. But mainly I wanted to do skateboards. It was like I've gone to the university now when I was 18. Did all the course there, skated as much as I could, did all the painting. So after that, I applied for all College of Art and I graduated. And then after a couple of times, I got in. So yeah, so I was going to Royal College of Art from 1997. I started there and skating in between and stuff. And still coming up to here to skate. And then they did a thing like in 98, Cyborg so Surfer, Leo photographed me at the bus station. Like he got me in, but it says about the Royal College of Art and stuff there. So I was skating, just painting as much as I could and skating. And oh, so yeah, the architecture of Milton Keynes and how it looked and everything. I mean, like, I remember before Milton Keynes was built, so I've got early memories of like my mum saying there's a new shopping centre here. And they were going to go and shop there and see it. And then when I saw it, and I was like, it's all this glass. And then they're like, there's the point cinema. I'm going to add a certain look to it. But you just took it for granted. It was lucky, because when the skating started and you saw some American bits, you were like, oh, this looks like Milton Keynes. But Milton Keynes is better, because Embarcadero has got the block, but it's concrete. But we've got like that like here, but it's marble. It had all the stuff what America had, or LA, but you had it here, and it was the only place in the country that had so much of it. In fact, they ruined it, the bay. The, one of the best spots is like the bay. Obviously, this was before there was no anti-skate at that time as well. Like... Like on, and in the end, they first used to, at the bay, they'd throw all stones out to stop us. It got so bad even, like, one guy, a guy would come out and rugby tackle me because I wouldn't stop. I'd bring, like, a broom on the train from Leighton Buzzard because then I'd kind of sweep the stones at the bay because they'd get all the gravel and throw it out. When they first put the, like, the no skateboard signs up, then I made stickers hand-cut, skate here, and put them on the back, and then I did it the other way through. And then the policewoman, and I was like, oh, but it's just stickers. It's not even free to look. It's not, who can take it off? But it just says skate here on the back. So it became like a war of, like, they were trying to make it harder to skate. But it just, like, carried on even till now. Like, the skate stop was out there. James Bush is, like, front side here, flipping but onto the, the bumps. They're still, like, skating it. It's like a form of rebellion as well, and against, I don't know, whatever control in it. It's a bit, it's a bit of eating, and there's a bit of rebellion in there, and it like protest and that reclaim the space. So.